Hello everyone, this is Hunter Collector with another action figure review, and here we have Dorna Dormammu from the Super Villains Wave uh, to make Zumanu. So here we have the Marvel Le Marvel Legends logo on top. We get the Super Villains logo on the bottom with Dormammu. Uh, here's a picture of Dormammu here. Here's the backside with that same picture. If you guys want to pause and read that, you can. And you get the Marvel Legends logo um, in the top corner there. You get a diagram of Ximenu. Uh We, we uh, get uh, Dr. Doom. We're working on Dormammu right now. We already went over the hood. Lady Deathstrike. Arcade still. Uh, we already went through Red Skull. And uh, AIM uh, Scientist Supreme. And here's the other side with that same picture. Nothing on top. And then here's the bomb with the DCBI. So besides that, let's crack them open. And here he is out of the packaging here. So let's go over the accessories first. So first we get Ximenu's, um left arm here. And then we get a bunch of accessories here. So we get the red clenched hands, which we've seen before. I like the red, matte red here. A little bit of shine on the here. So you get two of those. You get two fisted hands here. So those look good. Uh, and then you get two of these flame effects here, which we've seen before too. Soft plastic, transparent orange. Uh, it gets lighter here. And it gets more darker at the ends here. So there's those and they just wrap around his hand like we've seen before. But that's all we get for accessories for him. So let's go over to Dormammu. So here is the head sculpt. We've This is brand new. Uh, so they get this like little piece here, which you can take off if you want. There's like a little slot here for his face. So these are like little horns that go around them. Um, so it's pretty easy to get back on there if you take it off. So it's soft plastic. Uh, I like the face sculpt of him. It looks like he's smiling. You get the stripes down the uh, face here. You get him smiling and then you get the like triangle eyes going here. So it's like a nice pink light pink orange face here and then you get the flames uh you get some transparency in there some red orange on the top and then it gets more yellow down towards his neck and you get this like collar shoulder pad thing here for him which is really, really soft plastic uh it's like a um red pink type of thing you get some more horns down the collar and you get this purple suit here, no peg holes for the joints. Uh, you get this yellow belt around him. This is a separate piece, so if you guys somehow manage to take it off, you're able to. Uh, if you pop off the arms if you want. So yeah, you're able to take it off, it's soft, and it's separate. So it's not glued on there or anything. Um, but yeah, and then you get these like little gloves for him. So it has like these four weird designs around this forearm here some collar piece there and then you get these gun holding hands that go side to side whereas the other ones just want to go the other way like a normal ones and then you get the purple pants here which we've seen no peg holes i mean um i i don't, I don't even remember the name i just call them peg holes um but yeah we get this weird design for the boots here so yeah you get all these spikes around it you get spikes going down the ankle here you get the collar around it and yeah so it looks really cool um it's very simple kind of except for the head sculpt for sure but besides that it's really simple besides boots and the head sculpt like i've said so let's go over the articulation here so he has a ball joint so he, his head can move down, just none. Up, very little. I'm going to take that off. Uh, he can look left and right. You get some head pivoting there. Shoulders can move out low past 90 degrees here. 360 rotation around the shoulder. Bicep swivel. Double jointed and elbows past 90 degrees. Um, wrist can hinge down that far up that far 360 rotation there he has an ab crunch that you can go forward that far backwards none um he has a weight swivel that makes him go 360 around there legs kick out that far which is really good forward pretty good backwards a little thigh cut double jointed knees so almost a butt kick basically a butt kick actually 
eye. He has the boot cut here. Ankles can hinge down that far. I don't think it wants to go up. I don't want to break the ankle. There we go. Up that far. Nice ankle pivot. So yeah, that's Dormammu for you. So he, the painting, paint apps are good. Uh, I like that head sculpt for sure. Um, comes with the right amount of accessories. Uh, I love the new body sculpt. I think this is the same sculpt from like, I think, um, Red Skull, except they added different designs for the forearms and then boots. And they just added this piece on top of it and the belt. Actually, I think the belt, yeah, belt are different. Um, but yeah, I like that sculpt a lot and this little piece that they added in there. And then they came, like I said, came with the Ray and Matt accessories, I think. I think they could have added like a little sorcerer thing. I'm about to do like a stop motion for him, which you guys have seen in the beginning. But I think they could have added this type of thing, something like this for him to go against like Doctor Strange. That would be nice. But uh, it's okay. Um, but yeah, recommend getting him. He's a really cool figure for uh, like a villain shelf, which I'm doing like a comic villain shelf. Um, so yeah, recommend getting him. He's going to be worth a lot at some point. Um, he is worth a decent amount right now, but he's going to be worth more later. Um, but yeah, make sure you guys check out my Twitch at The Hunter Collector. Still need to work on Resident Evil 8. And um, Battlefield 2042 is coming out soon. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy and a bunch of other games. So make sure you guys go check that out and follow me uh, at the Hunter Collector. But besides that, that's all I got.